This is a short video to serve as an overview of the AIDS Education and Training Center's Engagement in Care Toolkit. This toolkit was developed by the AETC Engagement in Care Work Group for use by AETCs and HIV clinical program staff to determine capacity building needs for engagement in care, as well as to compare engagement in care interventions. The best place to get started is the home page where I am now. This is the uh, introduction and overview of the toolkit. This page includes a blog that provides some background on the toolkit, as well as a flowchart here for clinics to use, as well as for trainers to use. Those are just suggested steps that a clinician or trainer could take in using this toolkit, just kind of a place to help people get started. In terms of our capacity building tools, I'm going to go ahead and click on them. One that is worth pointing out is our Lessons Learned tool. This is a collection of tips from trainers across the country. These are tips on how to build partnerships with clinics and health centers to arrange trainings on topics such as engagement in care. And so trainers have provided tips on all sorts of things such as using cultural competency principles and finding local champions and things like that. And so this is a tool that we especially hope that trainers find useful as they plan trainings on topics um, such as engagement in care. <clears throat> Our clinic readiness assessment is a very helpful tool I'm about to show you. And so this is a tool that has an online version as well as a print version. This is a tool that allows clinics to assess the recommended capacities to consider before implementing engagement in care interventions. And so there are topics such as employee readiness, data readiness, assessment readiness, et cetera. And you're meant to fill it out such as this and submit. Or at the top um, under file upload, there is a link to where you can print a Word document. There also are two other forms here that are meant to serve as supplements to this. One of them is an identifying facilitators in your clinic form. And the other is an identifying potential barriers and solutions form. So those are kind of meant to be follow-ups to the clinic readiness assessment to help clinics better understand their barriers and facilitators for their engagement in care. These are forms that can be printed out, especially by trainers who wish to conduct a training and have clinics fill these out um, as, as a part of the training. Also, we have additional resources listed here under capacity building. This is something that is meant for clinics to use if they note that they have areas of um, improvement in terms of their capacity for engagement in care. They can come to this and find some helpful resources to learn more. So for instance, if um, a clinic notes that it has areas of improvement in terms of measurement of engagement in care, they can come to this page and take a look at the in-care campaign retention measures and learn more about um, some recommended ways of measuring engagement in care. Also in terms of evidence-based interventions, we have a lot of helpful tools here. The best place to get started is the comparison chart. Now we have focused on six intervention strategies, um, which include clinic-wide messaging, outreach worker, patient navigator, art as linkage case management, technology-based interventions, and traditional case management. So each of these are laid out here in this chart by their strengths and challenges. This is something that clinics are meant to use just to kind of quickly compare these strategies and see which they think would be the best fit or which combination of these is the best fit for their clinic. We also have a link here to evaluation approaches. This is just the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services evaluation measures for measuring retention in HIV care. So this is something that can be used to calculate engagement in care numbers. For each of these six interventions we have chosen, we also have a page here that looks just like this one that includes a description of the strategy, the strengths and challenges, the resources required, a model program, so clinics that use this um, engagement in care intervention successfully. These can be contacted with any questions. Evidence or journal articles that have shown 
this intervention to be useful, as well as tools that can be um, used to better understand um, the, the intervention you have selected. And so please take a look at all of these strategies and skim them to better understand um, the best fit for your clinic. All right, so in order to get to the toolkit, I'm going to go ahead and show you the link that you can follow. So you just click on the link you see right now to do that. And also, if you happen to have any questions, you can contact me at the email address that you see on the screen. Thank you for your time, and we hope that you find this toolkit to be useful.